So, part two here. We just finished talking about how reciprocal burdens make it necessary that we distinguish arguments from the identities who are making the arguments. It doesn't matter who the person is who makes the arguments. It doesn't matter any attributes about the person. Expertise is a myth for all arguments. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. What is this? I didn't see. Unjust. Unjust, okay. Unjust violence. Okay, so, um, we talked about how the problem with bad argumentation is that it is dishonest. How not to sin or be bad, yes? How to not sin, sin. To yes. or be bad. Sin, be wicked, right. Okay. We understand then that the failing to apply reciprocal burden is stealing on a metaphysical level. It's being a thief, it's being dishonest, and it's being a wicked person. If somebody, if you make an argument and somebody says, yeah, but to you, it's the same thing as if they slapped you in the face. Yeah, but's not an answer to what I said. If I'm right, if you say, I want that ice cream, and I say, you can't have that ice cream because it's across the lion's cage, and there's no way for us to get there. You say, yeah, but, no, no, yeah, but. If you say, yeah, that means you agree with what I just said, and you need to address that. Or you can say no, and then disagree with what I just said and address that, right? So, okay, types of arguments. I mean, an argument is comprised of three things. The claim, it claims an impact, and substantiates the claim. Okay, this is a contention level argument. What does it do? It attempts to gain ground. Or Manifest impact stuff. It could be pro. It could be yes, or it could be more impacts or less impacts. But it manifests impact stuff. Either create establishes impacts, mitigating impacts, you know, making bigger impacts, uh, turning impacts, whatever that kind of stuff. So a contingent level argument does that. It attempts to gain ground. It says, here's why you should vote for me. It says, here's some good arguments for on my side. And then it, the other thing it does is it attempts to uh, pile up impacts. This is contention level arguments. Framework arguments attempt to define ground. Instead of, gra instead of gaining ground, they attempt to define ground. Define legitimacy. This can be a problem because people can mistake what is not a framework argument. Reciprocal burdens are not this. Reciprocal burdens say, I don't care about anything. All I know is this. If you get to have a framework, so do I. That's all it says. It's not itself a framework argument. It's an answer to framework abuse. I get to have a framework, but you don't. I get to make six arguments, you get to make one. And that's why I'm right. That's failing to follow reciprocal burdens. Now, it doesn't matter how much time each person has in theory, as long as the arguments move forward. The progression of a, of, the progression of a debate is the moving forward of argument chains. Always moving forward of argument chains. People, you, it should be necessarily the case then, that what do you need to do? You need to have this in order to successfully argue with anybody. The resolution limits the scope of the argument. This says what's legitimate within the argument as a whole, the big argument. <coughs> um, I'm going to change this from argument to point and point and dispute. Okay, so this this limits the scope. A lot of times, what will happen is this: 
I will get in arguments all the time on my YouTube channel with people who who do something that's very dishonest. And then I don't think they're being dishonest intentionally. I don't think they understand it's dishonest. So they'll make a point, right? So far, we're talking along. We're talk, talk, talking, talking along. Somebody says, um, dogs like religion because God made them. Let's just say somebody says this. Dogs like religion because God made them. I might say to them, okay, what do you mean by like religion? Do you mean they would choose it on a survey or what? And the person then can't define what this means. Can't define how it would be that a dog would show that they like religion. I say, you can't establish this. You can't establish this. And then the person says, yeah, but assume I can, and let's just move forward. So we get a, a yeah, but. Yeah, but given that it's true, That's one thing that happens, but it's not true is the problem. I just told you why it's not true. You can't establish it. Well, that's not a reason why it's not true. Yes, it is. Because there's another element here. Uh, side burdens. It is different to make a claim than it is to dispute one. Okay? Making a claim... has different mechanics than disputing one. Now, the side that favors the original resolution, that's the app in general, but both sides will make claims and both sides will dispute claims. Whenever you make a claim, you are functioning as the affirmative burden for that claim. I made the claim, I have the burden to substantiate it. If I fail to substantiate it, like I did in this example here, then it's not still standing. It is dead. It never got up in the first place. So when I do something like this, let's say I get mad at them. I'll get mad because they do this. This thing here, yeah, but given that it is true anyway, um, then I will get mad. Then Eric gets mad. Grr. You're being unreasonable. What happens then? They say, the issue here, Eric, that you are yelling. What's the problem with this debate? What happened here? What did we, what happened, what did this guy do that was wrong? He said the yeah but. I forget the yeah but, but what did he say in response to, you can't establish this? Yeah, but then it's true. Okay, so then he's going to make arguments based on that, that he that doesn't stand up. If I say here, let's build a, a little house on top of this table right here. This table right here, we'll make a little house. See the See the table? Do you see the table here? We're gonna build on top of? Oh wait, there's no table there. You can't build on top of where there is no table, and you and pretending that there was a table there and saying, yeah, but the rest of my points are true doesn't change the fact that you can't build on a pretend table. Okay? Now, note this as well. What does this do? What does this do? Right here. This thing that says, you're yelling, Eric, that's a problem. But more importantly, it is making the argument about the person, not the claim warrant or impact. Okay, this is about the person. About the person. It is non responsive. It is non responsive. It is fallacious. And most importantly, 
Because it's what, you know, these things happen. But if it's made in a real argument, if you're just trying to troll somebody, it's dishonest. It's dishonest to make the issue about my yelling. Because it's non-responsive. It's about the person, not what's being said. And it's fallacious. These are all good reasons to know that when you talk about somebody's tone, when they're making claims and assertions, that they are an, a bad person, a bad human being. It is dishonest to talk about my tone. It doesn't matter whether I'm yelling or not. It doesn't matter whether I'm quote unquote emotionally attached to my arguments or not. Okay? So you might hear somebody who gets really mad and screaming and yelling, you might think, oh wow, they're a nut job. They can't possibly be saying something that's true. It doesn't matter how much they sound like a nut job. Not one bit. The only thing that matters is what their words mean. I can scream two plus two, and it'll be two plus two is four, loud as my possibly can. I can whisper it, two plus two is four. It doesn't matter if I'm Hitler. It doesn't matter if I'm George Washington. It doesn't matter if I'm Kalina. It doesn't matter if I'm Eric. No matter what, the only means to correctly adjudicate the question is on the merits of the claim itself, on whether or not it adheres to the reciprocal burdens uh, axiom that underlines all of debate. It's the only meaningful way to adjudicate anything, and everything else is dishonest. Now, to the extent that humanity wishes to be saved, what does it need to do? To save humanity, we must always shame those who disregard the obligatory nature of reciprocal burdens. It is the ultimate uh, offense against the system, offense against the ecosystem. It is, it is saying, let's poison the water system so that nothing can live here. That's what it is when you make these kind of arguments. That the issue is you are yelling. You are attempting to poison the water system upon which everything lives. Nothing good in the universe can ever possibly happen without us respecting this, reciprocal burdens. Number one, argumentation is not about identity, it's about the merit of what is being said and nothing else. If anybody tries to tell you it is about something else, then they're trying to be evil and harm humanity and harm you and your identity. What? Don't buy it, the most important thing in the world is for us to be able to engage in proper discourse fairly. If you're gonna be on this playing field, do it right or face my wrath. <laughs>